Hi, I'm Grant Gilbert. I'm a junior animal science major here at Cornell with a concentration in pre-veterinary medicine. Uh, outside of campus, I'm in Greek life. I do Hillel, Pre-Vet Society, and a lot of other organizations Cornell has to offer. Right now we're at the Dairy Bar. What is that? So the Dairy Bar is the place on campus where Cornell makes its own milk, its ice cream, we have food. This is also where the food science majors will come have class. Uh, it's a big hub for basically the people in cows. So like yeah. you guys make a lot of the food like right here on campus. You can, there's a place down in the building you can see them like actually making the food. It's really cool. Big red refuel. This yeah. is like the chocolate milk super drink. Yeah, so they, make a low fat, high protein chocolate milk, and I know all the athletes get it after they have their workouts. Yeah, what is it about chocolate milk and athletes? Is that like a thing at all Apparently schools? that's like what you're supposed to drink after you work out to get the most like gains. Well, let me see, you can also get gains from it without working out. I mean, every day here is leg day. Yeah. We're on a hill. To walk from the furthest point to the other furthest point, how long would that take you? Is that like a couple hours? Well, the thing with Cornell, there's no, it's not kind of like, a direct shape, it just goes in all different directions. Mm -hmm. Cayuga Heights is kind of where it ends for like the north campus end, and that's where I live. Gotcha. And probably the other furthest end would be over here at the vet school. So that's like a, a solid 40 minute walk. So you live as far away as possible from... Yeah, that's, that's a good way to put it, yeah. So you entered as a sophomore? I did. So what was the transition like, I guess, like academically? Like what was the environment like? I feel like one I've never seen before. Like, you have to go through all those like weed out classes, but the biggest thing is finding out your method of success. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of resources on campus to help you succeed, but it's up to you again to go find them. A lot of people come in, they're like, oh, I want to be a veterinarian, so you have to take prerequisite classes for vet school. And these classes are meant to show the school, the university, who's willing to put in the work. And they, you get a ton of work. You will, be, you will be seeing the sunrise a lot. So what is CALS? So CALS stands for the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences. And that's anywhere from animal science to communications to applied economics and management. We have agriculture science. It's basically just classes that are more bio-focused or you know, agriculture focused. And we're out by the ag quad or out by the vet school. So every spring semester, we have finals. And on the art squad here, people will put a balloon on the ground with a little note card, and it's about someone lifting them up for the summer, and or just their whole life, finals. And it's another way Cornell just likes to make us more, I guess, relaxed. Okay, so where are we now? So right now we're in Morrison Hall. This is the Animal Science Building. Mm -hmm. Uh, particularly, we're in the Domestic Animal Biology Lab. So tell me a little bit about the research you're doing. So I'm in a dairy cattle research lab right now. Um, we're focusing on insulin pathways and stuff that's blocking insulin production and insulin getting into the cells. And then I'm taking it a step further and doing an honors thesis next semester and the other semester of my senior year, where you do your own research and you write your paper. And specifically in animal science, you have to defend your thesis. And is the goal of all that research to basically find ways of like having healthier animals that are being used to produce dairy? So from what I've gotten out of it so far, um, agriculture is a business. And if your cow is kind of like diabetic, it's not gonna be as beneficial to you if you're a farmer. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to help the farmers get more money. So, so this bag here, this is a cow? Yeah, this is our, our teaching cow skeleton. You will at the end of the course know like what every bone is even more so than like your own bones we've had to dissect like whole chickens cows oh, man. yeah oh, what, a, what, a time. what a time like you walk into lab and just like there's just a chicken there's just table. that and then like well not here but in like our it's called the butchery room it's like really scarring there there was just like a headless cow like fully like Ooh. covered and they give you a scalpel with your group and you're there like have, yeah, and they're like, oh, by the way, next class, like, you have to know every bone, muscle, organ, the functions, what it looks like. So, they're, they're not kidding here. They're not messing around. So 
So we have Pepsi here, as you can see. You know, the CEO of Pepsi casually went here. No big deal. So right now we're at the teaching barn, and this is the essential, like you are an animal science right now. And here you'll have a couple of classes that do barn chores, mm -hmm. and you're checking out here by eight in the morning. You're cleaning pens, you're feeding the animals, giving them water, doing like a health check, which is like, are they doing all right? Mm -hmm. So you're coming yeah. out here taking care of the animals, and uh, so that's cool. Is this like sort of where you first learned how to be around animals? Well, most people come into the animal science major already like either working at a vet, stuff like that from a farm. But this is also like, it was great for people like me from Long Island, New York City area. Never touched a cow in my life. Like I come and they, they teach you like, this is how you approach a cow. This is how you will change its food. This is how you change your water. You have your TAs who also will help you through like the entire process, but won't do the work for you. Gotcha. Like, like you are going to be doing it and like learning how to do it. All right, so here we have cows with a fish gel in it. And everyone like, who knows about corn, they're like, oh, you stuck your hand in the cow. This is it. Um, it's surgically placed in the fistula. So the fistula is what exactly? It's basically, it's like an opening right to their rumen. So cows have four chambers of stomach, rumen, abomasum, omasum, and reticulum. And so where you're going into in the rumen is where microbial fermentation is happening. It's like they're digesting. So you open up the fistula and you can see it yeah. all. There's like a little, all. there's like a little hole you like take out. You go in and you see the churning of what they ate this morning, yesterday, the day before. Wow. Yeah. So how do the animals play into your classes? Uh, well, aside from being animal science, it's really getting out of the classroom, hands on. We have a couple classes that are solely based on the animals. Mm -hmm. We have uh, dairy cattle, beef cattle class. You're taking care of the animals like the whole semester how to raise them, just what they're for. We have another class called Sheep. You're out here taking care of your sheep, learning how to handle sheep, learning how to do um, AI, which is artificial insemination. So, so, wait, yeah. so, so you, your sheep gets impregnated and then what happens? And then when it, it's your turn to help give birth, you're getting a phone call to come in and help birth the lamb. It could be any time of the night, you're out here for your grade, birthing your sheep. Jeez, so you're like responsible for bringing a sheep you, into yeah. this world. From what I've been told from my friends who take the class, like you're assigned a sheep and it's like your sheep. Is it emotional? Like, I, I would assume so. Yeah. Like animals have bonds with us, you know, it's, it's real. Yeah. All right, so where are we now? All right, so right now we're at my fraternity house, um, Beta Theta Pi, Beta Delta Chapter, Cornell. Uh, we're actually a substance-free house, which is something pretty unique with us. Um, this year I live here with 20 other guys. It's definitely an experience, but um, it's one of the best I've ever done. A lot, we get a lot of help, help each other with school, personal life, get our chef, what else could you want? All right, if you like this video and want to learn more about top colleges, make sure to subscribe.